mercenary summons horrible pathfinding. At least this game has the excuse of being made in 2001. Oblivion has no such excuse. Actually, I don't think it was excusable back in 2001 either. Wouldn't it have been so hard to just program a button that said, Hey, minion, hit this thing. Or, hey, minion, walk around the corner. Go away, Bale. I'm trying to kite my Valkyrie to walk to you so that I can run back to you so that she will hit you. Quality! Does she have uh, attack or takes damage? Oh, yeah, Bale can also curse you directly with the uh, defense curse. Still the most pathetic curse ever. So Wow. Randomly just jump in front of him from behind a pillar and then just throw a javelin through his crotch. Bale has a reason to hate me now. There. Oh, this is last over eleven seconds. Yoink. Almost dead bail. I need mana. Whoops. Aha, I killed you. Uh, hit you. I'll kill you eventually, though, trust me. Going. Well, that was stupid. I do want to poison her. Poison him. How does that not poison you? Fine, I'll wait. Wait, did my thing have a... Uh... No. Yeah, if he... If Bale isn't poisoned, he regenerates health. It isn't a lot at the moment, but still. Not enough mana. Goodbye, Bale. Beautiful shot of Bale dying right in front of a pillar. Here is truly done. If that so, Ariel. If that main javelin is better than what I have, I am going to fucking kill someone. Seriously. Someone is going to die. Okay. Quest log, quest log. This place is gonna shake and shake and shake until the end of the world. Also, as soon as I talk to Teriel... Actually, if I talk to Teriel, it just summons the uh, portal, so I can do that. I am impressed, Mordred. You have overcome the greatest challenge this world has ever faced, and defeated the last of the Prime Eagles. However, we are too late to save the World Stone. Bale's destructive touch has corrupted it completely. Blame the ancients. Given enough time, the World Stone's energies will drain away, and the barriers between the worlds will shatter. The powers of Hell will flood into this sanctuary and eradicate your people and everything you've labored to build. Therefore, I must destroy the corrupted World Stone before the powers of Hell take root. This act will change your world forever. With consequences even I cannot foresee. However, it is the only way to ensure mankind's survival. Go now, mortal. I have opened a portal that will lead you to safety. 
May the eternal light shine upon you and your descendants for what you've done this day. The continued survival of mankind is your legacy. Above all else, you have earned a rest from this endless battle. I don't know anything about Diablo 3, but I can tell you right now that is a whole lot of bullshit. Yeah. Go through that portal and you get the end sequence. Could you stop the shaking? Thank you. Eh, however, I can't record that with Fraps, so you're just gonna have to look it up. You have proven yourself to these people. They look to you as their warrior, their champion. That's because they realize the ancient. I knew in time you would defeat Bale. You have done everything you set out to do, my friend. Ever since you rescued me from Tristram, I have believed in you. It has been a supreme honor to aid you along the way. So, the World Stone was corrupted by Bale, and now Tyrael must destroy it. Worry not. Through whatever lies ahead, I have faith that the light will guide us both. It will not. Go now, back to the World Stone Chamber, and enter the portal Tyrael has opened for you. Yes, yes, he's very nice. Now identify my shit. Fuck. Ing. Never mind. It has increased stack size, but I want to replenish its quantity, so. This is not, in fact, better. Plus one to paladin skill levels. All resistance is plus 15. Yeah. This was not worth it. Let's talk to everyone. Besting the ancients in battle is a mighty feat indeed. I hope this means you're ready to battle Bale. Ahem. The destruction of the World Stone does not bode well for our world, but I'll try not to worry. You will fail. After all, we have warriors like you fighting for us and for the light. Farewell. Well, you certainly didn't help at any point. Although you did give me three good runes, and you resurrect my merc, so I'll give you kudos. You. Good evening. You have stopped Nilothok, but he didn't have the relic. He must have already given it to Bale. Now Bale will not be tested when he reaches Ariat's summit. Bullshit. Damn Nilothok. I do thank you for trying, though. Please, allow me to honor your courage by magically inscribing your name onto an item of your choosing. It's the least I can do. You stand before me a worthy hero, and on you rests the last hope of our people. Bear it well, warrior. Next. You have done the impossible, hero. Your defeat of the last of the three prime evils is a great victory for the light. What light? It's strange that you say that the world stone must be destroyed. Prophecies said nothing about that. Prophecies. Perhaps all we have fought for will be lost. Or perhaps we'll never need fight again. So what you protected for eons made you keep fighting. I'd be so pissed if that were the case. It isn't going to be the case, of course, otherwise Diablo 3 would be a visual novel. Not that I have any anything against visual novels, but... A Diablo visual novel, um, new. The ancients themselves will envy our songs about you. Please, don't forget about us. Farewell, my friend. Ugh, just take the shit. Welp, that wasn't even... Not enough to pay for the damn merc. Can I help you? Bale's treasure is shit. Actually, that just paid for the Merc. Doesn't change my point. Is that everyone? Did I talk to Maul? I don't think I did. If Tyrael says the World Stone must be destroyed, then it must. We cannot let Bale's corruption prevail. The world will change, true. But who is to say it isn't for the better? Common sense. Also, the fact that Blizzard won't let us... I think die just... I did send it to you, eh? I was wondering. 
Okay, um... Any treasure left up here? I can wait, Tyrion, and so can you. Seriously. You didn't do jack. I know, I know, spiritual presence and all that crap. I don't give a shit. Seriously, you couldn't have told the ancients, Hey, you are idiots! This person must get in right now! Ugh. Whatever. I'm gonna cut it here because I can't record this next bit, and when we come back, we'll be entering Nightmare, so a moment. Or, you know, throw me back at the main menu. That also works. Anyway, that was the... Uh... Cinematic just played, Destruction's End. The only interesting part is the World Stone being, you know, destroyed. Which is very interesting, because it exploded into thousands of giant... Sharp spikes, and it fell to the ground. So... Pretty much everyone in Aragoth is now Stone Cold dead. Because they got a giant spike the size of their... Freaking entire body through their head. I also got a title. Sneer. Completing Nightmare gives you the title of Champion. Uh, completing Hell? I don't know. And titles change depending on whether you're playing normal or hardcore. This is the uh, normal, obviously. It doesn't matter. We can now go to Nightmare. Which is to say we're going to play for the entire game again. Okay. Don't believe me? Allow me to show you, or rather, allow me to... ...let you hear it. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. So yeah, that's Nightmare. The map respawned. We are now on a different map. But for the rest, everything is back to how we started. We have all of our items, our stash, our levels, our skills, our mercenary, everything. Notice how this has says 61? Well, I still have all of my uh, resistances. Now, remember back in normal, when I removed this shield and everything was still the same? Yeah. In Nightmare, you get negative 40 to all resistances, as does your Merc. That's why you need to be able to remove this shield in normal, Without these things lowering too far. Elemental damage in Nightmare got cranked up a notch. So if you don't, you're going to get killed. Anyway, let's get a few quests. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to talk to all these people again. Fuck them. You heard what they have to say. You don't want to hear it again. If you do, just go to the that respective video. Anyway. Back in Bloodmore. I been a shall while, purge huh? this land of the shadow. But no, all of these guys are much tougher. They drop better stuff. That one dropped an exceptional bow right off the bat. And are basically gonna have to play for the entire game again. The only difference, really, the only difference is that all the enemies are basically higher level versions of themselves and the map is reset FYI if I go back to normal now the map in normal will reset if I then go back to nightmare the nightmare map will reset I can reset the map over and over again until I get something good and if I ever want to grind, like, really do consecrated grinding, you want to do that. Get a very good map to spawn. But otherwise, I'm just going to take this map and roll with it. Now, if you remember... 
The first quest in Act 1. This is, uh, it's been like, oh god, how long has it been? Months? Easily months. But yeah, it's been months. If you don't remember, the first quest is to go to the Den of Evil, which afterwards gets renamed to Cave, or to Cave or some shit, and basically wreck shit. That's it. You get a reward of one skill. It is very good. Also, these guys... These guys now have more uh, bonuses. This guy's magic resistant and stone skin. Which means that he takes... Fuck all magic damage, including poison. And he takes fuck all physical damage, including spears. I do not like that combination. Anyway, we need to find the... Den of Evil. Primarily because I, will, because I want my damn skill point. Oh yeah, natural resistances. That is one very good thing about the Barbarian, the natural resistance skill. It does exactly what you think it does. It is good. Primarily because in Hell, in Hell difficulty, elemental damage gets cranked up a notch again. Except that instead of negative 40 to all your resists, you get negative 100. Yeah. Who remembers the time that I, you know, who remembers me uploading the first Diablo video, watching it, and me going around Act 1, poking everything, just to get experience and the like. Oh, um, in addition to more powerful enemies, there are also more enemies. More enemies. It's um, impressive, truly. Yeah, I want to find Den of Evil. Thankfully, with all the points I put into vitality over the uh, over normal stamina, isn't going to be a problem. And since there isn't anyone. I don't remember anyone in Act 1 draining stamina, so... I hear foul creatures about. No. Really? Foul creatures in the Den of Evil? But... Stamina, not gonna be a problem again until I get to Act 2 and Act 4. Free. Those guys are even bigger assholes uh, this time around. Well, I'm just... Yeah. FYI. Just remembered. Uh, Deckard Kane, he's still hanging around in Tristram, literally. So we have to identify our own stuff. Thankfully, an entire game of, uh, you know, collecting schools of identify will cover for that nice. I hope. Pissed if I have to buy scrolls of identify. This is what happens if you don't put a lot of points into Valkyrie. 